Hey YouTube, welcome to Just Peeling DIY. This is my first video on my uh, new channel here. Um, I have another channel, Just Peeling Barbecue. I'll put a link in the iCard up above uh, for that channel. But I wanted to start this channel as well. And this is my first project on my uh, DIY channel. Um, it's a wooden cross. It's a shadow box, uh, but it's intended to be uh, more for baseballs, and I'll show you a picture of that. I think it turned out really well. It's made from fat lighter pine, so it kind of increases the difficulty a little bit working with it just because of all the sap that's inside the wood. It's really hard on your saw blades and things like that, but um, it's really worth it in the end. So um, with that, let me show you how I make it. guys there's three things that I need to be able to build this project the first thing is a proper shirt the second thing is my thinking cap and the third thing is a good chew now we're ready to go all right normally if I was working with regular two by fours I would just run them through my table saw like normal and skin them out but these are not normal two by fours being that they're fat lighter I have found that the shorter the pieces that I run through, the easier it is because the, the tar, the, the sap in this wood wants to grab a hold of that saw blade and it kind of gets a little jacked up when it goes through there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and kind of rough cut my links to what I need to make this cross. Then I'll run them through there so the shorter pieces going through my table saw and I think it's going to make it easier to make. So I'm gonna do that, then I'll cut my miters, trim it down to my length and width and height that I want, and then we'll start putting this thing together. thing for me because baseballs may go in it is the inside width which is two and seven eighths that's perfect for a baseball to fit in it and so I've just made me a block a little template two and seven eighths inches wide so that I can keep everything consistent so for example these caps that I've got I can put that first 45 on there and then put this block on the inside of that 45 mark me another one I know that's where the other side of that 45 needs to go and keep everything right
It's not too bad. Not too bad. Let's blow it up and see what happens. Basically all I want to do is get these brads in here and then once that glue sets I'll come back and I'm probably going to run me a dowel through there and pound it in and let that be good. This is the first time I've used brads um, but I've come to a conclusion the brad nails are not going to work. This fat lighter pine is just so dense that those brads aren't going to penetrate through there and, and hold it very well so I'm going back to the old way which is tape. I'm going to meticulously put this thing on a square glue and tape these things together um, and then let them set overnight come back tomorrow and uh, put these things all together so I've got a lot more of these to do I'm probably going to do that, do a little bit more, and then probably turn it in for the night, and then get back at it uh, tomorrow after work. I'm doing this after work, so it's getting late anyway. And uh, But I mean, I think it's going to turn out good. Beautiful wood. And uh, it'll be worth it in the long run. So, I'll see you tomorrow. Alright guys, now last night I went ahead and taped up everything. Um, into two halves and let it dry overnight so this is what we've got so far this is one half and then here's the other half and the reason why I did it in halves is because I want to put some dowels in and the only way to get them on the inside right here is to not have it put together I've double checked everything with my square everything's straight everything's about as square as you can get um, and you just got to kind of keep measuring, squaring things up, hit the glue and tape, measure again, put the square on it back and forth until you get everything just right. And I've tried to do that as good as I can. This is about as square and true as you're going to get, I think anyway, with the equipment and materials and brain power that I've got. So. Now I've got to put my dowels in, and that's what I'm fixing to do. I'm fixing to drill them all, put them in. Now when I drill these dowels, I'm going to first run me a quarter inch drip, drill bit through there, and then come back in with this 5 16 bit, just so it, it keeps it from wobbling around. some of this glue off and that did pretty good and that will sand down nice and smooth and make that joint even stronger
All right, now I've got all my dowels in that I can get in except one side of the top cap and both sides of the bottom cap. So now the part that I get nervous about is meshing both, both sides of this cross together and seeing how they match up. Let's keep our fingers crossed and see if they match up pretty good. Now, there might be better ways to do this, I don't know, but I'm just doing it the way that I've always done it. And uh, we'll see how it comes out. Now the top miter looks great, it's just that I gotta make sure that I'm keeping that same distance all the way down. So far we look good. Getting a little tight right here on the end down here. So, but other than that, well, I mean, that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna put this thing together. Get some glue on it. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. All right, she's glued up. All right, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start removing all the tape get all the tape removed I'm gonna sand all these dowels off and sand the cross I'm just gonna knock off the rough edges uh, smooth up the corners 
get all of the dowel smoothed down and then I'll show you where I'm at from there. Alright, so now I'm ready to put the backing on it. And all I have done is rip some really thin, eighth inch probably, uh, strips off of the stop that I used to make it. And now I'm just going to, probably going to put just a dab of glue on the outside just to help hold it and shoot a couple of brads in there or nail it. I don't know how well the brads are going to do. It might, the brads might be too big for this little thin stop, but we'll see. Alright guys, so that's how I made this cross. If you like the video, uh, please subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me some comments. Let me know what you thought. And until next time, I'll be piddling.